So the second program to test is the uh, it's a program called Max, and it um, takes the values in memory location one and two, compares them, and writes the greater of the two into the second memory location. So I took the liberty of opening that program up. This is, again, from Chapter 5 of the book. Uh, and um, did the same process as we did with add, where I translated them into hex, translated the instructions, the binary instructions into hex, disassembled them, and then I put a few comments over here on the side as to what each one of them do, uh, because I'm sure as I'm stepping through the program, looking at how the CPU behaves, I'm going to want an English understanding of what each is supposed to do so that I can translate that into what I see on the CPU. So next I'm going to load each one of these instructions into the uh, ROM module of the CPU. I took the liberty to enter all of these hex values into our ROM. Let's step through these and watch the CPU do its thing, hopefully. The first instruction loads a zero address, uh, and this instruction will uh, read the location at M0 and put it in the D register. Oh, and I didn't put anything into my RAM for data comparison. So th this program does a data comparison between the value here and the value here, and will put the value here that's the greater of the two. So let me restart my simulation. There we go. Okay, so five and three. Okay, so let's restart the simulation. So now this is making more sense. So um, we have uh, the program counter advanced, which is good. We have five now being read from memory location M0, which is what this instruction does. And it's uh, going to uh, put it into D once this clock is ticked. And that makes sense now that the ALUX is showing the five because that means it, it uh, routed it into the input of the D register. And so now we uh, will be loading uh, the constant one or into the address. So that gets the address. And uh, so now there will be a subtraction that's done between the value that is in here, which is five, from the value that is here, which is three, which should yield two. And sure enough, two is showing up in our data, in our data output. So the value is positive. So this, this next instruction is going to, um, is actually going to do the subtraction and load it back into the D register. So we expect this to actually have two in it when this instruction is executed. Okay, we do. That's great. Uh, now we're going to load the jump destination into the address register because we're about to do a comparison, a jump if greater comparison. So we have our jump destination, which is uh, instruction number 10. Uh, and so we expect this instruction is going to check whether D is greater than zero or not. And it should be, uh, it should be two. And so we expect this to actually jump to instruction 10. So we should see the program counter. We should see this change to 10. Okay, so did this go to uh, 10? It did, program counter is 10. So this should be eight, nine, 10, right? So the jump comparison, the jump instruction worked as expected. So we know our jump logic, at least for ju uh, jump greater than, works as expected. So now we're going to load zero into the address register. Now we're going to go grab m sub zero and we're going to put it in D. So I expect ALU X here to have a five put in it. Yep. And there's our five. So there's the two address, the two offset. We're going to put in the address register. Now this instruction is going to take the value that's in D and it's going to put it into m sub two. So we should see this value changed to five. And we do. So far, so good. This next instruction is going to load the A register with 14 because the next instruction is going to do an unconditional jump. And that's basically going to jump to 14 and it's going to do a jump and it's going to jump to 14 and so forth and so on. So, so we have 14 
uh, now in our address. And so now this instruction is going to do a jump. And the program counter should reset to 14, and it does. And we jumped back. So now we're going to put 14 back into the A register. And now we're going to jump again. And if we just keep executing, we should see this flip back and forth. So looks to me like our program now uh, has worked successfully. So let's, um, let's flip this around. Let's reset our simulation. And then let's put three here. Let's put five here. And let's step again. So now we're going to read, we're going to read M sub zero again, and we're going to put it in D. Now we're going to load address register with one because we want to get M sub one, but we want to subtract M sub one from D. All right. So our ALU, the data out from it is showing a negative number. This is, this is correct. It should be showing negative two and it is. So, so far so good. So now our D register has got this negative number in it. Now we're going to do, we're going to load um, A into the A register, which is 10. That's the, the jump destination. But now we're going to do a jump greater than, and that should fail. I would expect the program counter, instead of being 10 after this call, I would expect it to be one plus whatever it is now. It uh, should be, so this is five. I should, I should expect this to go six which is basically this instruction right here. And it does. Okay, and this is new code. We didn't see this last time. So this is gonna load the, it's gonna load a one into the A register. Okay, and now this is gonna put five into the D register. That's what this instruction is supposed to do. So we should see ALUX go to five, and we do. So this instruction is going to put 12 into the A register because then the next instruction, we have an unconditional jump to instruction 12. So now we've jumped to 12. So now we're going to move two into the A register. And now we're going to assign D, which is five, which has five in it. And then we're going to move that value into M sub two. So I expect this value right here to have a five in it. And it does. So now this next instruction, it's going to move 14 into the A register, and then this is going to do a spin forever, which basically is going to make it go back to 14 and just bounce back and forth. So it looks like our converse of our jump greater than worked as expected. Jump, jump coding so far seems to be working.